Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time, and let me, uh, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. So, uh, this, this came up on my, uh, YouTube recommendations. Um, uh, it's a pinball, it's, it's, uh, pinball music, uh, Black Knight sort of rage. It's the latest, the latest iteration of Black Knight that came out. Uh, I think it came out within a few years ago. Um, I guess if anyone was to post a question, well, Joe, would you ever play it? Um, in a word, no. It's more, I think it's one of those that has like a big, huge TV screen on the back of the back of the pinball machine, which is which I find too distracting. I mean, I want it, I either want to play pinball or watch TV, but not both. So, so the the limit of my my preference and technology would probably be the uh, the black and orange uh, DMX. DMX displays. That's about as far as I want to go. So. And surprisingly, oh, this whole this whole soundtrack. Um, it was done by Brendan Brandon. I can't remember his last name, but he was the guy who uh, he was the creator of home movies. Um, he was also the creator of uh, Metalocalypse. He's also in his own metal band as well. But like I said. Um, I know his first name's Brendan. I can't remember his last name, but I guess he was the one that did the soundtrack for this game. So, and I did a copyright check, and surprisingly, it came up clean. So, and um, and I'll I'll probably I'll probably elaborate more on this later. But I also I also went ahead and uh, published it, like actually actually posted it up and everything. Um, let it stay up there for a minute or two just to be sure. And then, then went ahead and deleted it afterwards. So, so let me go ahead and uh, rewind this back. Or maybe not. I'll just fuck up and hit the wrong button. And this music might be a little distracting. So I'm probably gonna have to sound test it, and if necessary, I'll probably uh, I'll probably set the volume. I'll I'll set the volume lower than normal. And I'm gonna have to alt tab too, so this is gonna run the risk of my uh, computer restarting. All right, just gonna wait a moment. Close enough. All right, let me uh, actually, no, let me uh, turn it down a bit from my end. Okay, there we go. So anyway, um, to start with, uh, just the today's stream was actually pretty damn good. Um, despite despite the fact that uh, when I got up, or it was actually uh, I had bad sleep today because the my middle back was all kinds of fucked up. I was just hurting like crazy. I think uh, I woke up twice because of it. So, needless to say, I got out of bed, just... Uh, 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 just woke up, basically woke up half asleep. Um, I popped either Tylenol or Ibuprofen. I can't remember which. It, was, it didn't really didn't really help all that much. I just said, fuck it, get a stream going anyway. Um, but which uh, actually actually went pretty damn good. I just did my usual on it. Um, just I primarily played in chill mode. That's again that it's basically easy mode. So I just did that. Um, mostly did that, and um, at some point later on in the stream, I decided to go ahead and uh, push progression and started uh started trying to get some gold medals. In some of these previously completed runs, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. Okay, so, but yeah, um, and I was totally expecting to maybe if I'm lucky get maybe one gold medal. Or er, here, actually. You know what? Let me 
I was actually bright enough to go ahead and load up the game in case I needed it, which looks like I'm going to now because it's it's going to be a lot easier to just explain the game, explain it, or show it rather than try to explain it. So, and it looks like I'm going to have to pull my controller plug out. So, let me, um, let me check my OBS real quick. Okay, it's full screen. So, I guess, it, nope, I guess you can't choose it on this one. I have to wait. one. No, I don't want to go through the whole story thingy. Already I messed up. So I'll just pick that one, but like I said, you could um you can choose between standard or chill. Chill mode basically gives you infinite time. And um, if a certain place or a certain scenario had a would would have you deal with a truck attack, it turns that off as well. But the most you can get is a silver mode. But this is my default mode. So, but yeah, like I said, mostly I mostly play in this mode here. And then once in a while, if um, I feel like if I feel like pushing myself. I'll go on to standard, but um, the problem is, and I might have said this in some of my other videos, is this, if you look at the number in the center, like in this case here, French Toast 4, that means you're only going to make uh, four of these, that's it. And this food here, you, you can also, you can also do it, kind of a. Yeah. And let's see. <laughs> so as you can see, this only serves four. Yeah. So it only serves four now. And I'll just go ahead and um, because just to show just to show you what I'm talking about again, French toast. It only serves four. Now, when this starts up, and I think I talked about this some during my stream as well. Fully charged and ready to go. So. So I need six muffins and I need seven French toast. So oh shit. Um We got fresh toast, so I need to reserve two stoves for this. So that's gonna suck up a lot of space here. So there's one slot, and there's two. So, so just for that, just for this one stop, that's gonna suck up two slots right there. On top of that, especially for French toast in particular, there's an uh, extra layer of bureaucracy on that. 
So, so as you can see there, something like that is more trouble than it's worth. So I found, um, so I couldn't, I couldn't go for the goal on all of these. Like this, again, this one here, prime example is you don't have, cause you don't have capacity for shit. Then, um, let's look at something like this. Uh, So, one of the things that are mandatory for me for getting a gold medal. Oh, and if those that don't know, in order to get a gold medal, you have to be 100% perfect. You cannot make any mistakes at all. So, and garden salad here is probably the worst. It only makes you three. So that's it, three. The only upside to it being though is uh, you don't have to cook it. It's done instantly. So, so yeah, there ain't no, there ain't no way I'd be able to get a gold medal with something that only makes me three items. So I guess this could be kind of a, a sort of kind of quick tutorial on uh, how to get a gold medal on these things. Start with don't use fucking fruit or don't use fucking salad. Where'd it go? Yeah, start with don't use fucking garden salad because it only makes you three. So if you're wanting gold, Go for items that give you a lot, like frozen banana, it makes you nine. So yeah, and it's not that hard to make. Um, Tabuli, I think I've used that before. That makes you seven. Um, chicken strips, that makes, you get six of them out of that. Uh, Stuffed artichoke. That gets you six. Now, for the rest of these, it doesn't really matter because for special orders, you're only going to be able to make one anyway, no matter what. And customers are only going to want one, no matter what. So, I'm just going to go and throw in some stuff. Kind of haphazardly. Um, I'll throw Japche in there. Uh, Bananas Foster... So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be on this for very long. I just want to kind of demonstrate uh, what I, what I did and my uh, thought process in uh, getting gold, getting a gold medal entailed. That's one of them. Don't, don't grab foods that only make you a few. You want to go after foods that make you a lot. Good to see you, chef. I know. Good to see me too. Rose and banana. There you go. That's it. It's a bullet. Just guess the right one. Page one. Um, cucumber, mint flakes, parsley. Fucked it up. Vulgar. Stuffed artichoke. Told you I wasn't ready.
Oh, gotta wait on all the rest. Cooking and serving. And still have to make more. So, but anyway, as you can kind of see, you want to pick foods that uh, yield a lot. And as you can see here, six really ain't gonna cut it. So, trash that. That is another prop that is another um i think i said this in another another video but the requirements to get a gold medal are too too strict and harsh because just that one mistake i saw you saw there that one customer that left that ruins the entire run when you see something like that or when you throw in the wrong ingredient you might as well just stop But anyway, um, let me, I think it's this one here. See, this is a prime, this is the prime key right here to get a gold medal. Look at that, ham slices. That makes you 18 of them. Brisket slices. That's gonna make you 18 of them. That's a lot, turkey slices. 18 of them. Then you got Sausage slices. So, like I said, that's a huge key to getting a gold medal right, th right there. Because for the most part, you're only going to have to make those once. And then... And usually, um, how, mu how many are required per stop? I don't think it really changes. And plus, uh, every customer is only going to want one of something, not like two or three or anything like that. Let's go grab that. Uh, let's see. So. All right, chef. Show me what you got. Which isn't much. Yeah, look at that. Ham slice makes 18, but you only need six. Six, five, four, and three. So, so like I said, th that's the huge key right there to getting a gold medal. Picking foods that make a lot. You know, none of this three garden salad shit. 
Okay, but... Okay, but... Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that, and uh, let me kill the game real quick. Um, uh, but... But again, um, in case I didn't say earlier, uh, I actually, um, I actually got about two or three gold medals. I actually did good, so... You probably saw it there on the game, I had some gold medals on me. And then, um, later on, too, after the stream, um, I think I was looking for, uh, I was looking on YouTube for, for some game hints and tips and stuff like that, and one video that came up was, uh, Felicia Day, uh, she's, she's basically a game goddess, although I'm, I'm a godless kind of person, so the whole hype, for lack of a better word, goes over my head, but, I mean, I know who she is, um, I tried, I tried watching that guild show of hers. It basically went in one eye and out the other. I think she had a Dr. Evil and something else, some musical. I watched like a little tiny bit of it. Again, it went in one eye and out the other. So, but yeah, um, that came up. I'm like, oh damn, she plays this? So, I uh, checked out her, um, so checked out her, not her actual stream, but it was her stream video. I watched, got about 15 minutes in. I'm like, I can't sit through this. Just, same problem I have when uh, watching other super popular streamers. It just, there's actually too many people on. And there was the same problem I had back, back when I was actually watching other streamers. If there's too many people there, I just left. And uh, I'm like that in real life too. I just, if there's too many people in one room, I gotta go. I only want to be around maybe one or two people at the most. So I'm kind of like that when streaming too. I just want to have a few people in my stream. I don't want, I don't want Maximilian dude kind of numbers or Justin Long kind of numbers where you have a whole shit ton of people in there. And you just, the chat's blowing up. You know, and it, you know it's, it's hard for me as a, it's hard for me as a watcher. And, and as I saw from Felicia Day, it looked like it was kind of hard for her as a streamer. You know, it's like she's trying to answer everybody, but the chat chat's going up so quickly that she can basically only respond to one question at a time. It's like, it's how, it's why uh, famous celebrities often often have uh, other people running fan clubs for her. Because they can't, they can't see it, they can't read every single one of them at once. So, but like I, like I said, I might try watching more of it, but it, it's just... It's just too hard to sit through. So, but it's just, I just thought it kind of interesting that somebody like, Poli like Felicia Day plays a game like that. I mean, it, you know, Cook, Serve, Delicious strikes me as the kind of game that, you know, just, just, you know, unknown Joe Schmo, Average Joe kind of people play, not, you know, not legendary content creators, you know, not famous celebrities and stuff like that. I think, uh, I want to say pinball is like that too. It's probably one of the things why I like it so much. It's not. It's. I mean, it's. It's a pretty big. Uh, it's pretty. Pretty much a big part of pop culture. But then again, not that many. Uh, not that many famous celebrities play it. Usually, it's for. Uh, usually, it's uh, played mostly by unknown people. Like, do you have a YouTube content creators that all put up, like, pinball videos and stuff like that, but that's about it. But they, they're not, like, world famous or anything. Um, but otherwise, um, kind of moving along, um, I still have yet to do a... I'm kind of debating on this, but I might actually do a Gems of War stream tomorrow morning. Instead of a video, but I don't know. I mean, it, it, streaming it would be kind of a waste of time because I'd only be on it for, it'd be like an hour, hour and a half, like a real short stream. I'm going to take another drink here. Hold on. And I got to look at the video here real fast. Alright, there... 
yup, there's gonna be a chance the computer, the PC might crash. Because I gotta start it over. So, wish me luck. There we go. So, yeah, like I said, because I don't want to, like, make a one-hour one hour gameplay video on Gems of War, but then turn around and have to sit, have to sit and twiddle my thumbs for at least an hour while it uploads and processes and all that. Um, streaming, you kind of kill two birds with one stone because you're recording it as you're streaming it. And, it, and um, the video is going to be on, uh, it's going to be on Twitch. So that mean, that just saves me the trouble of having, having to upload it. But like I said, it just, it's pretty much a waste of time streaming for only like an hour, hour and a half. But like I said, I'll, I'll figure it out tomorrow morning. Or I might also just say, fuck it, not do one at all. Because I mean, I don't, it's Gems of War is just something I only do like once a week now. And then, um, one more, and then I actually kind of went a little over long on this, on this cast. I thought it was going to be a lot shorter, but nope. So, but one other thing, um, I kind of talk, I, the, my regulars, the people that know me really well are probably already going to know what I'm about to talk about here, but, but yeah, I basically had a, I basically had a shit can on one of my videos. I did a video about, um, about a new trick I learned when playing uh, Cook Serve Delicious. Um, and I had uh, I had like retro cooking music in the background. And uh, this is even with me, uh, I did a copyright check on it and all checked out and everything. But come to find out later that it was the dreaded epidemic sound. So, or that's where they, uh, that's where they got this music from. So, so, like I said, copyright check the music, came out fine, did my video. Um, when it did the copyright check on it, it came out all right, you know, totally good to go. But the moment I posted it up shortly after, I got a copyright claim. Like I said, it's the dreaded epidemic sound. Like, they don't copyright claim my videos until after I posted them up. So, needless to say, I was a little ticked. So what I ended up having to do was, uh, I uploaded the video to Twitch instead, which doesn't have this issue, and just take that video and just, um, like, all the, all my regulars, all the people that have known me a while, just go ahead and um, just just message them the link. You know, so that way I did, so it's not like a total of complete waste. And then, and then I also went on um, I also went on that channel, um, on that video that I used, and just went to YouTube comments and said, hey, honey, you need a, if you're gonna use epidemic sound, you need to post it in your description that that's what you're doing. You know, it, it, it's basically a dick move when you do that. And then secondly, I'm not even sure that's legal. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I want, I don't know the actual technical term for it. But you know, it just said, it, I don't, it doesn't seem right. Because when I looked on the website, on the Epidemic Sound website, you know, it's saying, yeah, you can, uh, you can use our music, uh, for your videos. Um, the implication on that was you're using it as part of your videos, like background music. Not, and not, not having a whole entire video devoted to the music. Of nothing but music, like, like what I used. It just, I don't, I don't think that was their, uh, intended use. So, like I said, um, I posted a comment on that video saying, you know, post it in the description. And then during my stream, I got lucky and I actually found another video that had the exact same music. But this time, they actually did post it in their description. So this isn't um, this isn't something that's uh, totally new. Like some people do know about this. Like it was in their description. Like like it was right down there. Um, it was said it was licensed. It was licensed by Epidemic Sounds. Like right there in the description. So it can be done. So, out of respect for that, I just went ahead and played that, that particular video on my stream. So, yeah, needless to say, I was a little bit ticked at the whole thing. So, I said this at the start of this video. Here, I'm going to take another drink. Uh, 
Um, so what I'll probably start doing, even though I think it's kind of risky, normally when I do a copyright check on something, and once I get the yay or nay, I delete the draft immediately. Like, I don't actually publish it. I don't post it up on YouTube or anything. Like, I'll delete it right on the spot. I think what I might what I might do now is just go ahead and publish it. Just post it on up. Wait a minute or two to see if I get a copyright claim. And if I don't, then go ahead and delete it because that's how it usually goes. Um, usually whenever I post something that has epidemic sound music, it usually takes like like a minute or so. And then I'll then my video will say it's been copyright claimed. So I'll probably start doing that from now on. But like I said, it's actually kind of risky because if you post up the if you post up a video that has that particular uh, piece of source material, the owner of that source material will now know about it. Um, in fact, um, a couple times I've actually been issued takedown notices because of that. You know, post up the cast video, um, post up the link to the music that I used or to the whatever footage that I used. You know, post up the link to that. They always seem to find out about it. So, like I said, it's kind of a it's kind of a risky move. You know, because doing that, I, you know, they're now aware that I'm using it, and they'll, they'll act, act accordingly or act however they want to act. I mean, yeah, you know, because I'm still going to delete it, but, you know, it, that's just going to, you know, give me one more thing to worry about. It's just one more thing I have to deal with. And then, um, like yesterday, um, I'm not going to stop the music. I don't want to do any more alt-tabbing because I don't want to run the risk of, uh, crashing my computer. So, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, but yeah, I've, excuse me, I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, um, normally my work week will have started tomorrow, but, um, I'm actually off tomorrow. I requested tomorrow off a few weeks ago, and I actually got it. So, so yeah, I'm. So yeah, there should I should be able to make another cast video uh, Thursday morning. So. But otherwise, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And then once again, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, see you all next time, and bye for now.